everybody and welcome to Flock Talk. Today we're going to be doing a do-it-yourself tutorial on how to make a little basketball hoop for your bird. Now the one I made is obviously for smaller birds because my birds are tiny, but you can very easily find larger materials and do the exact same process. I'm also going to say that I lucked out and found a dollar store miniature blackboard thing that I was able to reuse for this project, but as an alternative, if you don't look out like I did, you would just need wooden dowels and a, a wooden plank of some sort or wooden sheet in order to make the same base that I started with. Okay, so for this tutorial you're going to be needing to either look out and get the blackboard or you're going to need some wooden dowels and sheets. You're going to need a steel hose clamp, pliers, and a screwdriver. And then because of the way I ended up doing it, I also needed white glue that was non-toxic, some sandpaper, and paper clips. <coughs> You're also going to be needing metal cutters for the clamp if you don't have a larger bird because, or you have a big enough counterweight for it. So the first thing you're going to do is take your screwdriver and you're going to open up the hose clamp. And what you're basically going to be doing is opening it up into a big C shape, uh, so that way that is going to end up being the base of your hoop. <coughs> Once you have that open up, you're going to take the metal cutters and you're going to cut it off. The part that you just use to unscrew the entire thing. If you are doing this for bigger birds or you can have a big enough counterweight, you may not have to cut it off, but mine was really light, so if I left that on, the entire thing would just tip over forwards. So I decided to take my metal cutters and just work away at it until I was able to cut off the metal screw part. Once you've gotten that all cut off, you can begin to work at the metal to try and get it at a bit more of a rounded shape so that you can form the rounded hoop that the ball is going to be able to go through. Now mine had a little sticker on it with the price tag so I'd peel it off and obviously residue was left over so then you can take some rubbing alcohol or some nail polish remover and just rub at it with cotton ball until all the glue comes off. Do this in an area away from your birds because the smell of those things will irritate their lungs. <coughs> So after that you're going to take all your wooden pieces that, you know, again I lucked out on and you're going to just take that part and because mine was a blackboard I had to sandpaper the black part part off because I don't want them consuming any of that because I don't know what it's made out of. So I had to sandpaper all that off, you wouldn't have to do that step. Instead right here you'd be cutting out a rectangle and you'd be cutting out wooden dowels to make the base for your thing that's about the same height as your bird. <clears throat> Once that's all done I took the sticker off the bottom and sandpapered that down so there was no adhesive. And then my thing was unfortunately glued all the way through, so I had to take a screwdriver and just peel off any excess glue so the birds couldn't get at it. I don't plan on leaving them alone with this, so I don't believe that the glue there will be a major issue. I may cover it up later with a piece of vet tape, just making it as safe for them as possible. Again, this isn't going to be a toy, so just as long as it's non-toxic. <clears throat> Next what you're going to do is take the hoop you had before and you're going to take those paper clips, unpaper clip them to straight lines and you're going to use them to hold the thing in a hoop shape and you're just going to twist them like a twist tie. The reason why I used paper clips was because it was stronger and because I didn't have any metal laying around but those were stainless steel which is non-toxic for birds. Next what you're going to do is draw little dots and drill holes for where you want the basketball hoop to go and you're just going to poke the two little paper clips you just twist it around through it so that you have the head of your basketball hoop. Next you're going to take the pliers and you're just going to flatten them down as much as you can and begin to twist them up like a twist tie again. This um, can be a two person job at times. I was able to do it by myself but it was quite tricky so you may need help getting everything to stay together. Getting the hoop to stay together was certainly a hassle which is why I didn't have a recording of it because I had to go get help. But it does stick together and you put enough force uh, into it to get the whole thing to stay shut. <clears throat> Once that's all twist tied to the tightness that you would like and it's holding up alright, you would then just take the remaining and you can either trim those off or you can just flip them down. I just flip them down in case I need to tighten it again later. Who knows? And again, it's not sharp at the end, so I'm not worried about the birds hurting themselves on them at all. They're not going to be playing with it like a toy, so it's not a major concern. Next, you're going to take the non-toxic white glue, put it in the little notch in the wood, and you're just going to put the head of the uh, basketball hoop onto the stand. 
Uh, you could also just screw it on if you're more comfortable doing that instead of using white glue. But white glue is safe for birds as long as it's completely dried because it is non-toxic. It's not something we really want them to be eating, but again, this isn't a toy for them to be playing with. It's just something that they're going to be near and around in our environment. <coughs> it's going to be no more dangerous than, you know, the paint on your wall. And then once that's all done, you can go ahead and teach your bird how to play basketball. And I did make a tutorial on how to do that if you'd like to go check that out. Thank you all so much for joining me here on Flock Talk. I hope this was comprehensive and that it was easy to follow. If you have any difficulties or questions you'd like to ask me, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get to you as soon as I possibly can. So thank you all so much for being here and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.